to Tim in New York. Hey, Tim, what's going on today? How's it going? Pretty good, buddy. That girl, Lynn Sweeney, she works in the Nassau County DA's office. Really? How funny is that? I thought and Anthony was making up a, a stripper name. No, she used to work at uh, at the carousel. At was the she hot? Desk, the carousel, yeah. gaslight, all of them. Wow, she uh, she she works for the DA now. <laughs> yeah, and, and it was three girls. There was a girl named um, Tia Linguini and another girl who was half white and half black, who was into like uh, antichrist stuff, you know, the uh, devil worshiping and stuff like that. Oh, that's Satan. nice. Oh, the devil. Yeah. All right, yeah. have fun, guys. All right, thank you. Long Island Bye -bye. strippers, uh, breed of their own, definitely. Strippers, where are they now? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> So far, two strippers have called. One looks up assholes now. Yeah, she works in an ass doctor's office. And another one works for the DA's office. Yes. <laughs> if you're an ex-stripper from Long Island, we want to hear from you. <laughs> Call us now. Only if uh, you got uh, only if you're doing something pretty different now. Yeah, unless you're still stripping. Then. Not I'm a stay-at-home mom. Stay-at-home mom. With two little ones. How embarrassing is that? How do you explain those awful tattoos to your kid? Those bad stripper, Long Island stripper tats. Oof. One's on the ass, uh, over the ass. You put on a bathing suit to take your kid out and it's got a, what, mommy, what's that? Why is there a picture of a Harley Davidson on your back? Oof. Enough with the tattoos. They're not necessary. You want to get a little one on your ankle? All right. I don't mind mm. that. A little one on your ankle? Or whatever. Women get little ones that are, that are kind of cute. You don't like the, the tattoos uh, right above the uh, the crack? Very dangerous. On women? Very above dangerous to have. Yeah. It, yeah well, it I've be... only seen one. I mean, it's very rare that you It can't be too big, but they they have very sexy. a very done right. limited shelf life in the term of life. Once you start hitting your 40s, 50s... You got that over your back? But at that point, it doesn't matter anymore. It certainly does. That's why I laugh at people like, well, you know, when you get older, that tattoo's not... But when you get older, it's, you don't care what you look like. So you don't care if the ink is uh, fading and it's uh, stretched out now, the tattoo. Nothing worse than seeing an old grandma with a tit-tat. You know, she's wearing something... Uh, well, I'm, I'm against the tit-tat. A little low cut, and she's got a tat on her tit. See, I don't like the tit tat. No, no, leave leave that area Me alone. Either. Leave it alone. They just mark it up. Any grandmas with tattoos look ridiculous. Yep. They look ridiculous. Horrid. <laughs> Do you want to take a silly phone call? Uh, why not? <laughs> Do you see that one? Yeah, Wait. of course I do. <laughs> this might this might deserve this. Hold on, let me uh, go. Uh, let me go here. Ring 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 banana phone. Oh. Ring 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 banana phone. Let's go to the banana phone and talk to Chris in Massachusetts. Chris, what's going on? Hey guys. Hey. Uh, let's see. A couple of years ago, I was at the other side in Fitchburg, skankiest strip club in Massachusetts, I think. And uh, we had this skanky little trailer trash stripper dancing over my friend's beer. Open tap, open uh, tap beer. Boom. Klingon falls right into it. So, oh, we couldn't stop it. Oh, yeah. We couldn't tell him, though. We let him finish it. Take that tasty treat. Get out of here. Oh, Are you yeah. saying she dropped a milk dud in his beer? Oh, yeah. A dingle? Oh, a dingle. <laughs> stop it. Out, it. I don't know. You think that's real? No. Absolutely not. Why not? That is absolutely not true. <laughs> Tony on Long Island. The G-string would have knocked it off like a lot sooner than the that. The G-string would have flung She'd it have across the room. It. I mean, how do you get it? Come on. What kind of guy would get that lucky to have such a treat fall into oh. his beverage? Yeah, what's up, boys? <laughs> would have looked you good in the martini to, uh, glass. <laughs> Sheldon? Huh? You ever go to Body Talk in Sheldon? No. Right off, right off Jericho Turnpike. They used to have this fat chick. She had to be like 45. This was 10 years ago. And she would, like, let everybody suck her tits up and down the bar. Oh, you know, really? Fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's Long Island. All right, boys, punching out. All right, thank you. Well, here's That's great. Mike in Ohio. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, man. Hey, um, you were talking about old ladies with tattoos. Uh, my grandmother has the Harley Davidson wings tattooed across her tits. Isn't and that great, like, Grandma? She's 70 years old now, and she got it when she was, like, 63. That, wow. Why did she get it so old? Because she, she met up with a younger biker guy. She moved to Myrtle Beach and uh, and uh, started dating this uh, this biker guy. And uh, now now she's divorced. 
and she, but she still got a, a reminder. Biker guys are some of the weirdest sons of bitches, man. Whew. Why? Grabbed an old granny. Oh, she might be hot. Still. Oh. Stop. Let's oh. not. Hey, George in Colorado, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey, there used to be a really stinky strip club out here uh, just north of Denver. Uh-huh. And at one time, the, the chick that was the lead dancer, when the, police, when the place got shut down, about three years later, she went on to become a vice cop. She's now like the senior detective in the vice department. Hey, there you go. Yeah, she's got all the tats and everything else. And you see her out there working the uh, prostitution detail. Stripper makes good. All right. Th thank you, George. Uh, looking at the uh, front page of the Daily News, Anthony, this carded thing, what is this about? News investigation finds porn passes sold to kids for X-rated website? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can buy these um, cards. They have dollar values. Uh, it's so you don't have to use a credit card to go to the site. Oh, so I, I see like this hot blonde in kind of like a bikini, and it says twenty dollars. So yeah, so then you could go to that site and spend twenty dollars by punching whatever number it is. Yep. on the back of the card or yeah. something like that. So you don't need a credit card. And apparently, these things are being sold to uh, children. Where are they being sold to children? They have a fifteen and a sixteen-year-old. When something is on the front page of a paper and they're saying this is being done, you, you got to assume that it's a it's an epidemic, right? Uh huh. Have you heard that this is actually going on, except for maybe some isolated cases? Nope. I haven't heard this is the first I've heard of it. Daily News stinks. <laughs> you want to put some news, stupid liberal papers? How about the fact that the election worked out a lot better than anybody thought? Why isn't that front page news still? No, I don't now know. Now Europe is going to grovel. I don't know. You see that? Jacques Chirac and yeah. George W. shaking hands yeah, yesterday? Course. Bush looked like he wanted to smack him in the face. Oh, because he did. He wanted to smack him. Jacques with that bet. He's just smiling. Oh, oh. When has Europe ever stepped up to the plate and helped anybody? When? Well, now they're all pals over there now. It's one big happy Europe with one big happy uh, uh, monetary system, and yeah. and now they're all now they now they're walking around like they've been buddies for life and never needed the old U.S. of A. How about when Germany decides to goose step its way into your country again? Oh, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. They're crazy over there. Ever since Russia fell, once the Soviet Union fell, all they of a sudden... They kept them all in I mean, line over there. Of course they did. Yeah. And the fear of the Soviets kicking in their doors is exactly why they loved America. Mm -hmm. And now that that's gone, they just show what arrogant, ungrateful scumbags they are. Yeah, if it wasn't for us, uh, believe me, not uh, even World War II. Yeah, the Cold War, it would have just been commie land over there. Yeah, they would have traipsed right in there. Yeah. You know... Well, we sure it, got off track there, didn't we? That's right. He's just looking at the article. porno cards. Sweetie's looking at the article. Uh. <laughs> Where do they buy those things? Well, this is what pisses me off, and the papers do this all the time, uh, the, the, the porn cards. The, these two kids, yeah, they were set up by the Daily News. Oh, okay. You know, this isn't really like just a, a you know an epidemic. The Daily it's News... It's an epidemic of teens hired by newspapers. Right. The Daily News and the Post, you know, they run out of things to, to write about, so they find these little quote, like little loopholes, and then they make it a lot bigger than it really is. Mm-hmm. Where'd they buy them? Front page of the paper. Front page of the paper because the Daily News uh, sent these two, you know, youngsters in to get the cards. These two youngsters weren't going to go get the cards on their own. No. And tell you the truth, most uh, youngsters don't even know this is going on, but they know now, thanks to the Daily News. Why isn't that a crime, by the way, that the Daily News sent them in to get uh, things for porn? Yeah, I never understood that. The media Why that lunch. isn't a crime? They they do this all the time with all sorts of things, the the papers and and the TV shows, you know. Yeah. It's not really a problem, but they just need some kind of outrageous story, so they're they're just wandering around looking for this stuff, and then they make send in sting up. Yeah, then they send in t you know test subjects and make a big deal out of it. Prepaid cards that unlock one of the raunchiest X-rated sites on the internet are being peddled by bodegas and newsstands across ah. the city, even to underage kids. The Daily News has learned. The Daily News learned this because they did this. They did it. <laughs> they learned it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Since it's illegal to sell smut to minors, the cards are printed with an 18 and over warning, but an investigation by the news ah. revealed that some merchants are willing to sell them to youngsters. You're minors, right? One shopkeeper asked our test subjects, two boys uh, age 15 and 16, before pocketing their $10 and handing over a card for 14 days of access to a uh, supposedly adults-only site. Ten bucks for 14 days? Yeah. You're, you're getting not bad. You're getting nothing for that money. Who are you kidding? 
It was hardly the equivalent of selling an adolescent a copy of Playboy. Mm. God. If the boys had used the car, they would have ended up on a website rife with the rawest close-up photos and videos of sex acts, including intercourse and fetishes. Oh. What kind? Stop. I, this, I think this brings you to foundrymusic.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After hearing that the cards were being sold to kids, we asked two teens, Tom, the son of a news editor, and his pal Graham, to visit six Manhattan spots that hawked them. Three of the stores sold the cards to the teens while the others refused. So half of them did it. I'm Not outraged. even all of them. Three out of six. And I guarantee the kids were a little push. You know what I mean? You get in there, get a little pushy. Yeah. Poor Tom and Graham. What are they going to have to watch now? And they jack each other off. Little <laughs> fairies. Back under the porch. <laughs> so it was another dumb investigation. That made sucked. front page. That's why I love, um, you know, these, uh, they do it on just about every um, uh, uh, news broadcast now. They have oh, that yeah. investigation team that goes yes, out. Yes, a team of annoying bastards. And they run around with their cameras and they try to get in your face because you're some idiot that maybe you're a carpenter that wasn't the... That maybe you were a little shady. I don't know. Whatever. You spent a little too long getting the job done. Perhaps you spent the deposit money and didn't return when you said you were going to. Right. And these, You're a busy guy. And these troubleshooters and troublemakers that, that do the local news. Shame on you. Shame on you is one here in New York. And they go out and they, they get... The them. problem solvers. They see the finger? Shame, 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 shame on you. So, uh... <laughs> You know, these people are brave, though, with the cameras. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and then some of these people will get pretty rough and get back in their face. And, you know, I know these guys are scumbags to begin with, but I love when they, you know, push back. Oh, I yeah. love it. And there was a story we never got to because I think we were in um, uh, New Orleans there. But uh, the guy that threw a pipe at the guy as, oh, yeah. as he's live. Yeah, he was doing a live shot in front of the guy's house. And he's doing a story, and the guy just takes a piece of pipe and throws it at the reporter and clocked him, just nailed him. Clocked him right in the back. Great. Live on TV. It was awesome. And then there was another reporter that was getting a little too nosy. And uh, what was the story? You might even have it in the pile there where uh, uh, someone was, you know, up above and just poured a whole, th you know, thing of water on her <laughs> as she's on live TV. That's a good one, too. Well, if you're going to do that type of troubleshooting, you know, gig, you got to uh -huh. expect that these people are going to fight back. They're only doing They're not doing it to help. Don't. I, I don't even think they're I'm just doing it for body. ratings yeah, and, and anything they don't know. It's it's for ratings. It's shock value. It's entertainment. And these people are entertainers. They're not out there looking for the hard hitting news. And, uh, you know, when they when they get uh, some guy that shoves back, it's not somebody, you know, interfering with the freedom of the press. It's some guy that you're hounding, whether it's deserved or not, um, you're hounding him, and he's snapping back. And if you get, you know, a fist in the face or a pipe thrown at you or water poured over you, 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 you put yourself in that situation. So I agree. Screw it. So, and I find that very entertaining. And, and I Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch when, uh, when they do fight back. I don't really care what they did to yeah. deserve the camera crew in their front yard. but Oh, it's great when they go into some, like, you know, they, they get that guy in some really bad neighborhood that's performing liposuction in his basement. <laughs> yeah. They always get that guy. They send the camera down there. <laughs> Sir, we've heard that there have been people sent to the hospital. They go away. Go away. And they, they, they're talking through the crack in the door. And then they always get him leaving, hopping into the car. Mm -hmm. And they shove the microphone in the window as the guy just drives away. But, you know, who's paying money to get lipo done in a basement in Harlem? Yeah, I'm not really worried about that. No. If you're that no. stupid, then uh, you know, ha have fun. Shame, shame, shame on the people that went. Shame, I shame, say. shame on you. What is that? All the shame on you things? What are some all of the subjects? Shame. shame on you. NYPD uh, makes what? Makes fall. I don't know what that is. School bullying. Shame <laughs> on you. Oh, uh, here it is. Here it is. Shame on you. The NYPD makes haul. It's bad enough getting your car stolen in New York. Odds are it will never be recovered. Imagine if it was uh, if it was found by the police, but you weren't told for months. Oh. And then were forced to pay a lot of money to get your car back. Shame. Shame on you, shame, NYPD. Shame. shame. <laughs> the, the douche with the, the gay 70s porno mustache. I, I can't wait for someone to clock him over the head. <laughs> He's not Asa, is he? Shame no. on you. School bullying. School bullying is a nationwide problem. New Jersey is one of... A growing number of states that has an anti-bullying law. But Arnold Diaz, that's who he is. Arnold Diaz, right. Arnold Diaz, who hides behind his camera. Yeah. 
Uh, but Arnold Diaz found a group of current and former students of one middle school in New Jersey that say bullying is all too common there. Shame. Shame on you. Shame on the school or shame on the bullies? On the shame bullies. on the parents bullies for raising shaming. faggots. Yeah. Or shame on the parents for raising We're the bullies. Shaming, uh, the bullies there. Shame on you. Insurance headache. Those those uh, proof of insurance ID cards we carry in our vehicles are important, especially if we're stopped by the police or involved in an accident. But imagine if the information on, on the ID cards is false and you don't know it. <gasps> shame. shame. Shame on you. Shame on who? I don't know. I don't know who we're shaming. The insurance ID card people. people. Why would we shame Federal Express? Why? An animal lover rescued a sick puppy from a Pleasantville animal groomer. Then she got stuck with a big vet bill. Oh. Shame on you. Shame on the vet for saving the dog. That's, That's right. right. Shame on that car for missing the animal. Shame on you, Federal Express. An irate commuter called shame on you to complain about a midtown street deliberately blocked uh, during the height of morning rush hour. Oh, because they, <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that. Federal Express, UPS trucks. Well, they have to double park. Double to, park. You know... It, you don't mind if if they're delivering your package. Yeah, I'm sure. He These would... guys got to deliver the packages. They don't have a choice. They don't have, like, a convenient spot right in front of the building that's just waiting for them. Got to park, like, 18 blocks away to deliver your package. Right. And, and if they're delivering your package, you don't care if they're blocking the rest of rush hour traffic. Shame on you. I, who are we shaming there? Federal Express? I have no idea who's being shamed on these segments. <laughs> How about thinner trucks? Why don't they get thinner trucks? Wow. I don't think ev anyone's ever proposed that. That is pretty good. Thinner trucks. Oh, thinner trucks. Wow, I like that Make idea. Make them a little longer. You are higher. Look at these big, fat, wide trucks. Thinner for, trucks for, for Manhattan. For big cities like New York. Odd and even buses. That's very interesting, <laughs> Mr. Norton. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> The right man for the right job. How <laughs> can I take the ball? <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. Well, That's funny. Here, listen, this douchebag. Uh, shame on you, stealing money from. How about a... thinner trucks? <laughs> they wouldn't like the road. Thinner trucks. That's very interesting, Mr. Norton. I like the thinner trucks idea, though. Yeah. Shame on you, stealing money from a baby. Oh. In September, shame on you, first exposed the despicable crime committed by Sal. Despicable Sal. He had raised money at a job site to benefit a co-worker's sick baby and then spent the cash himself. Oh, <laughs> scumbag. We know who's shamed there. Yeah. Wow, the guy then spent it on himself? And he got the money from co-workers? Oh, what a scumbag. He's just stupid. Well, he's not, I needed the money. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, Sal, a break. Uh, Rent a truck and you could be out of luck. The shame on you team uncovers the dangers of some poorly maintained trucks being rented by U-Haul. CBS 2's Arnold Diaz reports. I'm sure they took a hidden camera, rented the truck, took it to a mechanic, right. and he was like, oh, the brakes are dangerous. Yeah, Look, yeah. the tires are bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they took it back. Showed the guy at U-Haul. Showed some, the guy the tape. Some poor son of a bitch that just sits behind the desk renting these things. Yeah, that has a wife at home that just bitches and complains. He's just trying Did to make a know living. You're renting unsafe vehicles? No. See, look at the tape I, I uh, have from the mechanic showing bald tires and bad brakes. I can talk to you. Call the manager. Yeah, because U-Haul trucks are falling apart all over the highway. Ah, uh, you see it all the time. Just making this one poor guy's life miserable. Shame, shame, shame. Cabinet store shut down. Illegal modeling agency. It was quite a scene when the city's consumer affairs department today shut down a notorious illegal modeling agency that shame on you first exposed in June. Oh, shame. no. What happened, Opie? Well, these places, I know that that gag. They've been doing that one on TV forever. Yeah. These modeling agencies, they, you know, you come in with your daughter or something, and then they're like, well, you know. We have gonna, to have sex with her. Well. Oh, no? You're going to have to, you know. Shame uh, on me. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay five to $600 as we take your pictures. Headshots, yeah. For your headshots, yeah. head and then, you know, then. then, then these, it's always pumping more money in, but then they don't do anything. Right, because the girls aren't that hot to begin with. So, so you think you're getting a movie uh, audition or something like that, and they want, come on, take your top off, Coco. <laughs> and you cry. Come on, put your thumb in your mouth like a little girl. That's it, Coco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Put your thumb in your mouth, Coco. <laughs> like a little girl.
with her uh, her awful yeah, her, <laughs> what her nipples her breasts look like like black candy corns. <laughs> That's what Irene Cara's breasts look like. <laughs> Uh, wow, this guy is uh, screaming. They do have uh, thinner trucks. BJ. Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, Hi, BJ. BJ. Uh, just so you know, Jimmy, they do have thinner delivery trucks. I've seen them. FedEx. They're like these short little skinny things. Oh, okay. Where do they use them? Uh, uh, so, uh, I mean, good idea, but they're one step ahead of you. Do they use them here in Manhattan? I've never seen one. I've never, I've never seen them in the city, but I have seen them around. So. I've never seen a short, thin truck. That'd be good therapy, too. I know. Well, keep an eye out for him. All, All right. right. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's go to Chris in the Cite. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, Chris. Yeah. A uh, businessman in Kentucky may face assault charges after he was videotaped choking and apparently attacking a TV news reporter, according to Local 6 News Report in Kentucky, I gather. A uh, news reporter from WAVE-TV in Louisville, Kentucky, was attempting to question the president of a company about an alleged pyramid scheme. Instead of an interview, the man allegedly grabbed the reporter by the throat and pinned him against the wall. <laughs> Do you have video of that? Yeah. Can we watch? There's video. TV reporter choked. Taped attack. Very good. If you're going to attack someone, don't do it on camera. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. But well deserved. Yeah. You know how it is with the uh, the web. You get the um, You get the commercial first. Ooh. There it is. I have no sound because my computer stinks on ice. I asked for it to be fixed. Oh, and then somebody else attacks the camera. I saw the guy pinned against the wall, the reporter. Then somebody stopped. uh, Wow, he pinned him. That was an awful piece of video. That was the worst video I've ever seen. You saw it for two seconds. He had him pinned against the wall, and then I guess some of his cronies didn't want the guy videotaping his buddy pinning pinning the news guy against the wall and wrestled the camera to the ground. What, Hawk? What? Oh, you got on video already, the Irene Cara? Yeah. Wow, nice. you're good. Let me see. The hawk, hawk of rocks in the studio. Those are uh, but candy you corn. You're absolutely right. She has candy corn breasts. Wow, those are the worst boobs I've ever seen. Hey, man. She was always so bubbly and happy. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my God. They're like um, oversized Hershey Kiss nips. Yeah. And they just point down. Yeah. Not only down, but to the side. Yeah. <laughs> very odd. Ugh. That is the negative perky. That is the opposite of perky. Yeah, yeah that's just uh, that's just awful. Chris in the city, what's up? What's I'm up, sure they, they got just... better with age. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they're probably <laughs> looking really good now. When they're bail, you're 19. They're going to be fantastic when you're 41. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. She probably staples onto the top of her chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, in New York, in CBS, we have to eat at your own risk. Right. And every month they, they, they just pull some crap out of a hat. You know, the hairdo from Oklahoma. She worked in Oklahoma a couple of months ago. Yeah. Now she's here in New York, and she's a, she's a big investigative reporter. Last night what they did, and, I, and is, is you know, I'm a coffee drinker. I'm like Jimmy. I'm a coffee David. I like and, a lot of cup of coffee, right or wrong, sir. A cup of Joe. Uh, Why not? And uh, they, they went around to coffee shops, like Dunkin' Donuts on 86th Street in Brooklyn, which you remember, Anthony. Yes. And so on and so on. And, you know, they, 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 our investigative rep- our investigation undercovered uh, uh, four major violations. And their investigation consisted of going on the Internet, on the Department of Health website, and getting uh, uh, information on that particular restaurant's report. The problem is with those reports... Every restaurant in Manhattan and every restaurant, most restaurants in Brooklyn have rodent problems. That's all there is. You can, the best restaurants in Manhattan have rodent problems. And if they come up that they don't have rodent problems, it's because they didn't happen to see any when they were there. Yeah. But anyway, they go on and on about it. And then, of course, like Anthony was just saying, they get the Mexican. They go up to the Mexican. Do you know that there's no one here with a food handling license? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, you know, same nonsense over and over again. Yeah. You know which one I saw last night? I saw the one on the tires. And they teased it at 6 for the 10 o'clock news. Yeah. Do you know that your tires are uh, maybe unsafe? We'll tell you why at 10. So now, you know. Yeah, they really care about your out. safety. Yeah, right. they don't care about you If they care about the... your safety, they tell you right then and there what the problem is. You was. might be the one that's going to win the unlucky lottery as you're waiting yeah. for the 10 o'clock news. It's a tease <laughs> to get you to watch the news. It's not a public safety, little public service that the, the news is doing that, oh, wow, we found something dangerous about tires. Let's tell the people. It's a way to get the people to watch their newscast by scaring them. Yeah. That's it. What about the one? 
Do you know there's a popular toy that your child is playing with that could kill them? Yeah. We'll let you know at 10. And there's your kid in the other room with, like, a whole room filled full with of toys. toys. Full of potential death. Can you please help me out and tell me which yeah. stupid toy i got to pull out of the room right now? Give me a hint. Jackass. I just trying to understand why the media gets carte blanche. They're built on advertising like every other entertainment it's form. entertainment. It's entertainment. All right, so the I guess we were talking about these porn oh. passes and yes, uh, shame, Eric, shame. Eric's got oh, you were saying with the tires, they just did one over the weekend with the Xbox. That Microsoft right. is going to be recalling something from the Xbox, and then they they teased it and teased it on CNN. Took forever. Finally, it was one out of every ten thousand Xbox. Maybe the uh, the electrical cord got a little warm and could cause a fire. Oh, well, that's, that's all it was. Dangerous. They were replacing the electrical cord, but it, they just kept it going for hours. One out of ten thousand out of a bunch of millions that were sold. That's kind of a lot. If the cord can burst into flames, maybe Good. you should. But they should just do it as a news story. He's saying instead right. of teasing, just go. Don't look. tease it. Yeah. You know, give us the info. Yeah. If you have a baby, put his genitals on the cord. If he yells, send it back. <laughs> but we all know a lot of people that that have Xbox. Do you know yeah. one person that this happened to? No. My friend of mine. But how uh, they report cousin. it? To how they how they tell you on TV? It makes it sound like every person that is playing Xbox is They're bursting into flames. Is, well, is yeah, yeah, having their apartment burst into flames. Yeah, they, I actually they, know someone. I'm sorry, I'm just, I actually know someone who had an Xbox and their apartment was robbed, and all they left was the Xbox and the camera. <laughs> and when they developed the film, they found that the warm cord was stuck in the ass of the Haitian wow, burglars. Wow, really? Yeah, true story. It happened to a friend of mine. That's that's wonderful. Go ahead, Hawk. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Speaking of. Uh, was this on the news, Anthony? The New Jersey smoking ban? What is this about? I don't, I don't know this one at all. Well, um, you, you could still smoke in Jersey, right? You know, a lot of a lot of places you could still light up. And uh, somebody put out a, a commercial that kind of bashes Jersey and, because and they're allowing smoking. Jersey's a little angry at some of these pot shots that are taken uh, because they still allow smoking. All right, and this yeah. is the commercial. Yeah. As customers light up at bars and restaurants, a new radio ad makes New Jersey the butt of the joke. The ashtray of the Northeast. That's what New Jersey is fast becoming. <laughs> it's fast becoming. The wow. ashtray of the Northeast. Ramon Jersey blows. <laughs> <laughs> and it just sound... Doesn't it just sound awful? Wow. Everyone knows Jersey's a real shithole. <laughs> the ashtray of the Northeast. Yeah, so there are, uh, I don't know who's putting, who's putting out the ads. I, I kind of, you know something? I was real against the smoking thing, ban that uh, Bloomberg put in place here in New York, but it's great. now, I love it. Well, of course, uh, you gotta love it, but that, that's, I don't know, man, it, it's a whole thing that's going on, though. You can't tell. It amazes me that you could tell restaurant and bar owners, you know, that 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 they don't let their customers smoke, and it's a it's a legal substance. Yeah, we're not point. talking about pot or something. The we're talking about something is, that is legal, and and uh, and and the government is telling you tough shit. Here's the thing, I I, I was from the same mindset, but and and you shouldn't be able to tell people that own a club. That uh, they they can't allow smoking in there because you would assume if somebody goes in there, um, they don't care if their clothes smell like smoke, if they're breathing in smoke. But the truth of the matter is there are people that have to go into places like this that shouldn't have to put up with it. Yeah, but it's a free market society. Then then yes. then there's other restaurants and bars that would pop up if there was. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking. The, but but if there was if there was so many people that. Did not like the smoking, then these other businesses would pop up and do uh, quite well. Not talking about that. I'm talking about people that have to go in to repair the machinery, people that go in uh, to, uh, you know, replace the the cigarettes in the cigarette machine. Well, but you're in for such an infrequent amount of time, such a short period of time yeah. you're in this place. Well, how about do, us do, going do, to do gigs at clubs that? That's you know, not my problem. That you were the ass in school that decided not to, you know, work, you know, work hard. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> But here, here's seriously, that's what you know. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. I, I don't care if that's your job. You know, you chose that path. Yeah. You could get other know. jobs. I don't know. Because yeah, pl plumbers make good money. They make, what they, if you're in there they make the you... excuse like, well, you know, the the bartenders and the waitresses shouldn't have to. I'm talking deal about with, them. De I know, but well, that's one of the, that was one of the biggest arguments when this uh, yeah. thing first hit, and it's like they shouldn't have to, you know, uh, breathe in uh, smoke. It's like, right. well, then choose not to do that job. Yeah. You're choosing to do that job. Mm-hmm. 
the tobacco companies, here's, here's where, where the asterisk, have done nothing but lie for so long. It's like they lose any credibility as a legal product because they've done nothing but lie about what their product does and what's in it and mm-hmm. the effects of it. Um, that's the problem. I mean, I'm an ex-smoker, and I was against Bloomberg's thing, too. The same yeah. reason that was. But I also I felt like you did, man. Like, it's a free market. You know, you got to allow people to, to do what they want. But the tobacco companies kind of canceled out that logic. 50 years ago when they just did nothing but lie and made people sign non-disclosure as to what they're doing. Yeah. They're scumbags. When, when, uh, when I opened up a suitcase uh, to pack for this uh, trip, um, there were some clothes in there. And they weren't even in there. I mean, I, we had taken the clothes out. But the clothes that had been in there were from New Orleans. And the smell of smoke that came out of this goddamn suitcase, oh, it, it yeah. just really permeates everything. Man, I hate disgusting. I hate the smell of cigarettes. Disgusting. But I'm just it's just a it's just a scary road we're going Ramon down. Ramon Febreze mice. <laughs> case. Well, let's go back to the commercial here. The we'll start over again. The New Jersey smoking ban. As customers light up at bars and restaurants, a new radio ad makes New Jersey the butt of the joke. The ashtray of the Northeast. That's what New Jersey is fast becoming. The American Cancer Society sponsored the radio ah. and print ads. They are designed to put pressure on lawmakers to ban smoking in all New Jersey workplaces, including bars, restaurants, and nightclubs. It's been a lot of foot dragging. It's been a lot of people in Trenton not paying attention to this issue and leaving workers vulnerable to secondhand smoke. Restaurant owners like Marty Horn at Powell's Cabin argue the proposed smoke-free workplace law is unfair because people would still be able to smoke at casinos and private clubs. But they're not really thinking through the impact of the whole policy and, and just using uh, sound bites to try to, you know, yet again give New Jersey another bad name. You're not being fair. Ashtray ads this is out fair. New Jersey as the one state in our region that has yet to pass a smoking ban. What does New Jersey have? Big tobacco, big lobbying, and big billows of smoke coming out of our bars and restaurants. <laughs> New Jersey's new health commissioner calls passing the ban a top priority, but restaurant and bar owners have vowed to fight. Please, they'll yeah. lose. They'll lose, just like they did in New York. I, you know what? And I hate that I'm on the same side as some of these yes. assholes. Oh, the people exposed to the secondhand smoke. And, and you know what's Their whole life is just putting this across. They're nudges. Oh, they are nudges. Good word. <laughs> nudges. You're a nudge. You're nothing but a nudge. <laughs> And big billows of smoke <laughs> yeah. coming out of the bar. Have you ever driven past the refineries in Jersey? Sure. I think that's a lot worse to inhale. Ugh. And I've heard the secondhand smoke stats are a bunch of crap, too. That's what I that hear. That people too. are yeah. not dying constantly. I'm sure it's some sort of hazard on some level. Yeah. But, you know, casual secondhand smoke, people are not dropping dead from. It's annoying. but uh, I, I th- And I think if you're working in it, if you're in a smoky bar for years, yeah, you're probably uh, going to do some, some damage. But, um, you know, if you're just passing by someone smoking, nah, it's nothing. I see no reason people shouldn't be able to smoke in open arenas, sure. stuff like that. Like, it would bug me if I'm sitting next to somebody at a, at a Yankee Stadium and he's puffing away. But it's outside. You know, a gust of wind's going to come and blow it away. Well, they're trying to ban it from parks and stuff. Yeah, parks, they're, they're the trying beach. To, yeah, they're trying to get it to the next level. Yeah. It's eventually going to be all banned. The, all, huh? It'll be banned eventually. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, you would be able to smoke in your house, in your stinky house. No, you with won't. Your yellow walls. No, you won't, because Big Brother will be watching you. Well, aren't there companies now that won't hire you if you're a smoker? There's some kind of weird. There's companies that won't hire you now if you smoke, which is yeah. There bizarre. are insurance purposes and stuff, because uh, you know a lot of companies pay insurance premiums, and the insurance companies don't want employees that smoke, because obviously they're going to be spending more money, uh, the insurance company, if you smoke. So they, yeah, they're saying no. We're and not going to hire if you smoke. There is a legit argument there, like with seatbelts. You always hear people saying, what's their right to tell me not to wear All right, stupid, don't wear one. But if you go through the windshield and it's determined that you're not wearing a seatbelt, how about this? You're not covered by insurance. Yeah. You foot your own medical bill cause you're, because you cause higher medical bills, my rates go up. And how about, yeah, you ram into me, go through the windshield, you die. How about your family doesn't come and sue my ass because right. you were too stupid to put a seatbelt on? Yeah. That's the problem. Not that, man, they're infringing on my rights. I don't want to, you know, I want to ride a motorcycle without a helmet. All right, grapefruit head. You know, you, you don't strap the thing on. Uh, you, you come out in front of me. Uh, you fall off the bike. You crack your head on a curb. You're dead. Or you're a retard the rest of your life. Now, I got to pay you because you don't want to put a, a, helmet, a helmet on? 
You know, that's the problem. Right. The rest of the rates go through the roof. Yeah. Unless you're somebody like, you know, our own Ben Sparks, who, mm. who would have a legal argument that he tried to find a helmet and couldn't. He had to, <laughs> had to hollow out a Volkswagen bug and wear that on his skull. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good old Ben. I like how the uh, airline has to adjust baggage loads to put it on the opposite side Ben's sitting on. <laughs> the plane's got a... <laughs> My big head. Big hog. <laughs> All right, well. I hope no terrorist attack, but Ben will...